Hey everybody, it's the last Robot Kai here, and welcome to another part of Let's Play Dishonored, the High Chaos Run. Um, we're on the we're on the part where we're going to be not killing Sokolov, which I'm still trying to fathom here. Um, he looks like the kind of guy you could stab a hundred times. He looks he looks like Rasputin. I should be allowed to stab him at least once, but that's apparently a failure. It's like you know I can't stab him, poison him, dump him in a river, or anything like that. It's terrible. And uh, joining me in commiserating is. Oh man, it's a cool guy, and dude, I am so happy that that you also like drew a parallel to Rasputin. That's like literally the first the first thing I saw when I first saw Sokolov, and nobody believed me. Like nobody believed me when this game came out. I don't see it. Fuck you guys. And I'm Orv, and I'm not racist against scraggly beards. How about you eat me? Well, you know, it's just it's just how he is. He's this dude with a long beard. Who's who's into some some art and vaguely occultish stuff as well? Who just pops up out of nowhere when things are going wrong and starts to make a name for himself uh, in uh, in curing something that isn't ill? It's pretty Rasputin to me. Uh, but you know what? That's fine. He's not going to end up like Rasputin just yet. So uh, let's get in. Oh boy, here I go killing again. Damn decent of them to just be like, "Hey, here's a rune. Enjoy that." So you're really expecting some people to just, like, completely miss some along the way, and they might need a gimme. Shaggy so- Shaggy Sokolov. That sounds like a drink. <laughs> kind of- kind of seem, uh, seems like he should have- he should have a particularly cowardly, uh, wolfhound. That- uh, that he- uh, that he names, like, Scrooby-Doo or something. <laughs> Shaggy Sokolov and Scrooby Doo, and the and the and the Plague of the Thirteen Ghosts cartoon, which was terrible, and we don't want to talk about it anymore. Instead, it's the Plague of the Thirteen Rats. They're just they're like really big rats, they're like Skaven. I I kind of like I, I said I wasn't a big fan of this this area, but I think this is actually one of my favorite sort of areas because of how the how it's set up so you can sneak through like there is a there's a nice little route you can take uh under the uh under the spinning wheels there but you have to you have to either like stop time like completely or turn off uh these that last spinning one in order to get through unnoticed and it actually it actually takes you to the uh to the wall of light uh controls over there of course once you've got blink it's like yeah that's all pretty trivial yoink Bill Nye seems to have escaped into the world of Dishonored. Yeah, I noticed that. I'm, al I'm also sor uh, sort of over here thinking, man, I should really turn that off in my playthrough just to piss him off. I mean, I, even even if it has absolutely no, um, no benefit for me, I'll probably just do it just to see him flip out. Oh god. Anytime you uh, you start, yeah. I was trying to see if uh, if I could make some noise to make someone walk over to it, but apparently shooting at the wall of light just straight up makes no noise. I so think I'm like, it, okay. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I don't know. I. It's, oh well, that happened. Finally, the luck on uh, not getting shot runs out. Good God! Down you go. I had forgotten how how people bowl over when uh, when they get shot when they're aware. So what? I, I'm presuming that uh, that you only choked that guy out so you can throw his body into the wall. Yeah. <laughs> I think somebody might have been on the other side and walked into it as well. I don't know, but there you go. <laughs> I've been wanting to fuck with that thing for forever, and it's just Meh. like I still get interrupted. There's still there's still plenty more opportunities for me to be terrible with walls of light. There's like a little underpass thing that you can walk under from from this side to get at the uh, get the controls. So you can really just stay out of everybody's sight the whole time if you really need to. It's yeah, a ghost really on awesome little section. If you're just playing for the ghost achievement, this is the quintessential mission to get ghosts. Very fun one to get ghosts on because there's just they give you. A lot more alleyways to work with than uh, than really most of the other ones do. What are you up to? I don't even remember what's back here. Oh, uh, there's just some crusks and uh, a little ah. bit of stuff. And of course, fuck crusks. 
Yeah, these things are these things are the grossest pieces of junk. Doing this in disco vision. He's gonna get some money out of him. You know, the pearls. God, they even sound stupid. They even sound disgusting. Mm -hmm. Mustn't be easy to try and like bump something like that. Was that one? Wow, that one was still alive. That's really creepy. I, I was said, <laughs> I mean, you knocked him off his little perch. I was just like, okay, yeah, no, he's totally dead. Ugh, disgusting. Yeah, there's things. nothing to like about crusks. They are the, uh, they are the literal worst. The grossest of the grossed. You know, the ocean does breed gross things. There are a great many gross and terrible things in the dishonored world <laughs> that you should be very careful of. Notably, rats. You know what they sound like? They sound like pred aliens from AVP2. <laughs> you know what? I saw you rewire that thing, and my heart still seized up for a moment <laughs> when you walked through it. If it's any consolation, so did mine. Okay. <laughs> like, I was Welcome. like, oh, Jesus, oh, God, is this going to blow me up? Oh, no. I don't actually remember <sighs> how you're supposed to get around this one, so... Like, oh, is it this way? Because I want to go into that room, and I'm like, oh, I almost walked into that. Walking into that will kill you. <laughs> so, so don't walk into that. Don't walk into that. Don't head don't... entirely off. You know, don't, just don't don't do don't do this girly man half off nonsense. Just take it all the way off. <laughs> just blorf. Are you implying something about partial decapitations? I'm implying <laughs> that I recently read Herbert West, uh, Herbert West Reanimator, and uh, and a partial decapitation sounds uh, sounds horrible to me just because of what Lovecraft des uh, described with of happening to people that are partially decapitated in that book. Pages and pages and pages about their personal history? No. <laughs> no, just pa uh, pages and pages of how, how, how the creepy motherfucker deci uh, decided to connect all, all of the blood vessels and nerves together, and then, then inject it with a weird substance, and then it just sat up. I'm the reanimator! So, there is... There's a person in need somewhere down here, and uh, we're going to uh, we're going to help them. <laughs> For a certain definition of help, I'm sure. Well, I was trying to think like, what is the worst thing I can do to this person? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm in that mindset now. Like, I have become I have become Dunwall's Dunwall's personal worst person ever. So it's like, well, what, what can I do to this person that would be like really, really assholeish? Like the worst possible thing I could think of doing to this person. They, they're stuck. They're, there's rats all the way down here. They go down there, they're dead. You know, Corpse. there's there's no way out for them without my help. Ooh. Also, Whirlwind 2 uh, is what we got there, so now my sword swings are even damn faster. Man. Seri uh, seriously, you It took got... me a little bit to realize that. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, man, what's going on? It. And it's like, whoosh. Feels good. Hello, rats. Hey, rats. And someone turned up with uh, turned up with some bone chums or whatever, and has ruined everyone's day. Thanks, guy. Returning very very briefly to an Reanimator chat. The, oh yeah. The horror movies, uh, the Reanimator series. Uh, I have it on demand on my TV if I want it, except it's a TV PG-14 rating. And why would you watch that? Yeah, no, that that sounds a little bit li uh, like missing the point of Lovecraft. <laughs> So what? You came to the conclusion that the worst thing you could do is leave her? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You know what? I I, I, ha I happen to agree with you because the, the best... It's efficient. The best thing that I came up with was throwing a grenade at her head and hoping it tumbled her down into the rats so the rats killed her before the grenade could. But it was just like... Eh. Still, you know, there's there's not that there's not that moment of horror. There's only a flash of horror. That's not too bad. I mean, she's not programmed to feel fear or like despondence. She's just sort of she's just sort of there as a thing. So, uh, hard luck. Yeah, I'm not, I've, I'm I've not got even places to be. If there's a uh, if there's a 
message for like as a special mission action for helping her afterward. I'm not I'm not certain there is. I'll have to investigate that. The world may never know. Well, they will uh, because I'm going to ta uh, take a look into it. And I am a professional, damn it. <sighs> <laughs> He's going to have a hokey poke. I love I love just this area in terms of uh, in ha how it looks more than how it plays. I li I like just this this the whole island theme of Dishonored. Uh, everything's you know everything's really limited landmass. It, yeah, it's one it's one of the few the few places I've or uh, few cities I've ever been in that in a video game that feels like a, like a real big city. I mean, it, if you if you've been to any major met, uh, metro area, they end up feeling very uh, very much the same, just because they like a single square inch of uh, of real estate ends up costing so much uh, so much money. So everybody crams together, and that is perfect play conditions. It's lacking in a lot of. You were just continually thwarted by these planks. I know it's just planks everywhere, and they're all fucking with me. There's a bunch of people imprisoned in a uh, wall of light there. What's this one? Yeah, so there's uh, there's another one of those dumb white rat things uh, where you can possess them for longer. It's <laughs> I, I get what they've done. I think that's pretty cute that they've got an entire sort of you know like hey white rat system in place. But uh, yeah, I'm not for me. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, well, I mean it's it's really weird because uh, because the um... The benefits that uh, that uh, that white rats give you are dubious at best. So you know, I mean, they'd be really uh, they'd be really really uh, they'd be really really good if all of the other bone charms were like about three times as bad. I guess. Um, I was immensely disappointed when I originally played this game that uh, the possession skill did not allow you to Ender's game people. In the sense of, I'm not certain I got I got that reference. So when Ender plays the the virtual video game thing in yeah. his brain, uh, he chews out the eye of a giant while he's a rat. Oh right, yeah, okay, gotcha. Now I'm following. That would have been pretty. Hey, let's help yeah. these people. This, 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 can't, this leads to something funny because obviously civilians don't have a whole lot of uh, survivability when it comes to uh, this, but the guards are really confused because the uh, the bodies vanished. What? So I got like <laughs> that one guy was fighting a dead person who he killed because they died once again without having <laughs> without having been seen been aware of me. So that it's is just... wait 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 they amazing. they killed him and he disappeared. Because of oh his Oh my god, kill. what the fuck? He, they killed a civilian. That's so or great. civilians. That's, and yeah, and as incredible. a result, they vanished. That's it. And as a result, that one dude bugged out and kept trying to hit the ground. My of course, uh, th this was a mistake uh, in hindsight because there's a safe up there and now I can't get it open, I don't think. Because I think they have the the safe combination on the oh, mistake. Oh please, just look it, up, uh, look it up on the internet. <laughs> Uh, I, you know, I wasn't gonna stop the video for that, so it's just like whatever. I'm not, I'm not here for 100 percent money, and I, and I killed some river crusks. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Sh shut your, shut your mouth with the things <laughs> I have to do. You don't have to do jack. Shut up. <laughs> I'm a professional, damn it. That's not. Yeah, he's a professional. That's I'm not, not what I'm that means. Not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a professional yumping man. <laughs> Fuck. Seriously, how many lumps do you have in your head at this point? <laughs> so I see this 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 despondent look around like, fuck, thwarted by numbers. <laughs> it's only a I love looking at me several items. several weeks after recording this and just saying like I'm like did I did I find something about this? <laughs> no, no, you didn't. Uh, past me. No, you didn't. <laughs> That's just gonna incredible. have to just gonna have to grin and bear it. Oh Rest in my peace. gosh. We're almost to Sokolov's house now. Just very slowly working our way over because, you know, well, why not? It's right there. <laughs> but there's like, you know, there's there's things to grab and people to stab and 
let's let's be honest here. If I'm leaving someone alive, then uh, then I'm you know, I'm only doing it because it's funny. Mm, pair. Oh God. <laughs> There must still, be just something that gets better with age. Still getting to, mate. <laughs> I mean, they're bad when they're fresh, so... You shut your hole! I love pears. I'm sorry. But what about Tibian pears? I don't know what Tibia is. I mean, I know what a Tibia is, and I don't think... I, I think if I had a pear off of a Tibia, it would be pretty bad. It, it's, it's a V, Overseers and City Watch, working together. Ah. For a minute there, I thought that Overseer was pulling out a cigarette, and I was honestly wondering how the hell he intended to smoke through, uh, through his mask. Just furiously nodding as you walk up to him. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Okay with where this is going. For a minute there, I thought you were just you were just going to place it like right between his butt cheeks. Give him a closed casket ceremony. I'm using these things more often just to, to like jokingly plant them on people than I am to uh, to actually like plant them on people's patrol paths. But that's okay. I felt like I'd missed somebody, but I haven't. So this is like it's like murder instincts telling me I have to kill everybody. That's good to know. So if you want to be really sneaky, uh, you can all can see that the uh, there's a bottom way into the into the house. There is a. I actually kind of like this house design too. It kind of feels like a little little techno fortress. Steampunk. Actually, not really. I'm, do I'm just saving this because I don't want to fuck up. Because hey, guess what? <laughs> God, Robo guy. Guess what? I die on this a lot. Oh, well, all right then. Just, just always be careful, everybody. Always be careful when playing with giant hydraulic spinning fans, because God knows, games with weird physics engines can do strange things to you. Always be saving. Always be saving. Fun fact: I don't actually save when I play this game very often. I always forget, honestly. I always, I always run off the like. Obviously, when I was playing like no kills and things like that, I would save frequently because holy shit, going back after you accidentally drop a guy in water, fuck that. And there they are talking about how weird Sokolov is. Oh god, it's the one of the dudes with the music boxes. Mm-hmm. Which, uh, as we'll demonstrate shortly, hopefully. Well, actually, foreigner. that's because I don't have any mana. He hasn't actually started playing it yet. I'm an idiot. Oh, no, he doesn't get to use it. Good. Remember. Those things are colossally annoying when they get used. <laughs> Did you slap you? Yeah, he shoved me. <laughs> that's what I love about this game. I love this game's combat because everybody has, like, all these little moves. See ya. Hiya! Yeah, we'll be, we'll be able to show that to show off the combat system in greater depth um, when, uh, when we get, get out to the Dunwall City Trials, because there's a couple of them that are just complete combat. Damn it! Someone's down! <laughs> More than no someone. Shit, I was hoping dude. to sneak. I was hoping to sneak that he's just like, nope. Huh. God, even with that, you could uh, you could have ended up uh, ended up doing a drop assassination on that guy. And of Ooh. course, these the dorks have obtuse like... arguments of Lady Boyle. Yeah, I'm sure that's what uh, that's what he means when he means uh, obtuse arguments. I mean, hey, like of all the nicknames for an ass, arguments is pretty good. Milady. Your arguments are positively obtuse. Yep. If either one of you are tipping your fedoras right now, I'm swearing you both off. I don't even own a hat. Of any kind. Good. We're clear on this, then. I've only got a beret, and that's only when I'm, like, being really racist and pretending to be a Frenchman. <laughs> okay, that's acceptable. 
<laughs> along with my along with my black and white striped shirt. This and the the white episode from Majesty, you guys are just <laughs> terrible people. No, no, no. We're I'm, we're just getting warmed up. Also, he smokes a baguette when he does that. That's not how that works. That's exactly how that works. Have you been to France, man? Yeah, actually. Well, clearly you were not in the real France. You were in one of those fake France pe uh, places where they put foreigners. Like Paris? Yes. Yeah, sure. All right. I'm sorry. I was just I was just I was waiting to see if her, if her physics bugged out anymore. Nope. But she is she is well and truly eating that wool, so that's that's all right. This dresser is delicious. I have it on good authority that woods do taste different. From somebody who has tried many, many woods. Another reason I like this place is it looks like a repurposed warehouse, which is fantastic. It's kind of like an artist's loft in a in a weird whale punk setting. I do like whale punk. That's a good word. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. I didn't coin it. I stole it from somewhere else. So we'll just uh, we'll get that out of the way now. It's all. Yeah, it is. It is very. Yeah. To build on that. On that though, it is. Very, it's one of those places that you would kind of expect would uh, would be like one of those high, high luxury places. But you know, we just walked past some uh, a leaking roof like three times. And apparently, people have been dealing with long, uh, long enough that they've got a couple of different bo uh, like buckets <laughs> there to handle it. I'm a little bit surprised you can't take that painting. Very ominous looking tower. Yeah, no Still joke. Let me through. Oh, okay. That's glass in there, I think. Yeah, we could have we could have pretty much avoided all of this if we just took the <laughs> elevator too. But whatever. Elevators are for people who don't like murdering everybody. Or money. There's a lot of things don't forget in this money. game are for uh, for people who are kleptomaniacs or homicidal maniacs. The game specifies unbreakable doors, but are there any doors of that nature that are actually breakable? There are a couple of them that can be blasted open by uh, by grenades. I oh wind, oh, wind blast. Yeah, there. Um. They're, they're all very minor doors, though. I mean, presumably you uh, you could you could figure it out by just what are you doing? <laughs> I, <laughs> You're such an asshole. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm having the time of my life playing this game <laughs> as a horrible person, and I'm probably damned if I ever stop. <laughs> Hey Pandicia, <laughs> this is uh, this is actually a very important place in the Dishonored uh, Dishonored Law. Uh, we heard it mentioned by the uh, uh, by the outsider earlier. Sokolov's been there. Uh, he was the only survivor of the visit that went there, because pretty much everybody else died horribly on the journey over and on the journey back. Let me tell you what Pandicia is. It's Central America. Is it not Central America? I was honestly never clear on that. It, it's pretty much just Central America. Okay. But, with, but with magic! So Wait, it's like, the largest the... landmass, basically, and everyone's always trying to everyone's always trying to sit up there, but they keep dying horribly. Honestly, that sort of that sort of sounds like Africa during the colonial period. The large landmass, everybody's trying to set up there. It's kind of more like prime it's kind of more like a primeval primal earth. Like that went back, you know, back. What are they called? Pangea when everything yeah, was Pangea. all smooshed together. Yeah, Pangea. Like I've heard is it described as that. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, high, high giant chain. We ain't gonna be playing with you. <laughs> that, that's a killer drop. That is. We know what happens if I try and play with killer drops. It uh, it hurts. It hurts. Oh, and you should throw Sokolov off there. I mean, you know, he he, he, he technically you wouldn't have stabbed him. I'm just saying. I now turn my hopes and energies to Formula Twenty Five which in conjunction with a high heat therapy, which came to me most vividly in a dream last night, has great <coughs> potential, according to the latest celestial alignment. As for test subject 312, after the characteristic sloughing of the skin, she should be dead by mid-morning That's not something you want skin to do. Please, sir. Please let me go. Uh, yeah, 
so then that's the uh, oh yeah this is yeah th this is related to the um the slack jaws stuff yeah slack jaws bootleg How still Please, sir, I don't want to die. Hush now, no one's going to die. You are much improved from birth 312. The formula I administered to you is working exactly as it should. I cannot let you go yet, because I have not finished with my study. But tomorrow will make all the difference. Really? You'll release me tomorrow? I'm not going to die. Yes. Tomorrow You're going to die. Have the guards remove you from this cell. Late morning, perhaps. But the pain. Can't you give me something for the pain? I do have many pain remedies, yes. But alas, I cannot give you any. They could interfere with my research. You should thank me. Soon we will have a cure for this terrible disease. Thanks to all my hard work and dedication. Yes, thank you. This is where he drops his thank pants you. and just starts and just starts literally meta, uh, wanking himself off to, you know, complete the metaphor. Now let's electrocute some elephants. How did you get past all the gods? Your tattoo is quite unusual. It is reminiscent of markings. I've I'm not looking at your hand, but you know, I noticed it anyway. I already see it. Who sent you? Piero? That jealous fool. There's no need to be his lap. You and I can come to an agreement. One that I'm sure will please you more than anything Piero dreamed up. Who are you? What is it you want? Money? Elixir against the plague? <laughs> I don't know how you got past all the defenses, but I think I can assume if you wanted me dead, well, we wouldn't be having this conversation. You don't know me very well, so glow. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that's, that's a, that's a pretty I woke up to people say hi and stab them in the face all the time. <laughs> An intelligent man, so he really doesn't know me. me. I am the royal physician, head of the academy. His <laughs> <laughs> tone of voice here is so delightful. I'm just like, I can't say I'm dude, it's a sleep dart. I knew someone would come eventually, Dick. But you're not what I expected. There's no need for violence. We can be great friends, you and I. Will you join me? <laughs> I will admit I had a lot more fun watching him beg than I thought I would. <laughs> Hello, my friend! Stay a while and listen! There we go. Let's get the key. It's on his belt. Thank you. Also hey, blood. you're cured! <laughs> Unfortunately, the side effect All is getting right. stabbed. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty brutal, even by my standards. Yeah. The autograph is just the recording he did. Excellent progress today. Tests of <laughs> 312 is declining rapidly. As I theorized, formulas 12 and 17. Yep, goodbye. <laughs> the progression of the You're free! Disease. Jesus You're Christ. You're free! Dude. <laughs> the respiratory mucosa had erupted and raised pustules. Grayish in color, which burst, causing hemorrhaging and pain. And this is where we walk into the conversation. I now turn yeah. my hopes and energies to Formula 25, which in conjunction and we're done with here. heat therapy, which came to be most vividly in mm. a dream. See, so Glove's big thing is he's really obsessed with the outsider, as the outsider himself has said. He's he wants really badly to uh to to gain the outsider's favor for more power, more knowledge, and things like that. The issue is, of course, is that he's already got a significant amount of power, authority, and influence. So the nice, yeah, good one, yeah. dude. I'm just like, <laughs> fuck. You know, I was that, I was gonna say, hey, that's a good throw, and then it was just like, wait. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, I think a Spring Razor is in your future. Though, what the hell was the point of that? Um, I did that by accident. I'm just trying to think, can, how can I do this without putting down Sokolov? Because I don't <laughs> want to put down Sokolov. And I'm like, fuck it. Have it now. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, is that really the the, that important? That was, that, well, that, I was really worried if I put him down, he was gonna slide off the roof. That would have been <laughs> But I didn't want to take him down there and get him accidentally shot, so it was just like, whatever. 
Dude, his snoring is. <laughs> God damn, dude. Wow. <laughs> I was just like, fucking ledges. Fucking lost my patience on that one. High tensile wire is a real motherfucker. I, I, will, I will say, that was a classy as hell kill. <laughs> After goofing the death from above, yeah. And this is the other reason I didn't really want to let go of Sokolov, because you gotta go back up and get him! I know a bunch of parkour people who are so jealous of you right now. You have magic. <laughs> yeah, I bet they were really jealous of when I face planted off of a railing on the way down to it. <laughs> they were said, oh, that was Thursday for me. I'm okay, everybody. I caught it with my face. <laughs> no trespassing. Royal position himself. You made a neat job of it. Drop him there and we'll be off. Yeah, okay, dude. A neat job, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, no reason to hang around. We have everything we need. <laughs> he doesn't even go. have a comment about it. Just, you know, whatever. Well, that was... stuff. <laughs> hostiles killed, 62. You know what? I didn't even realize there were 62 hostiles on this mission. There were kind of a lot of grenades. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I cleared. I I did a I did a lot of clearing uh, here and there. It's especially the bridge. The bridge does have a significant number of dudes there, and a lot of them just sort of like got whale oiled or ran into like Tesla coils. It was it wasn't a good day to be uh, good. Wasn't a good day to be a city watch guard. Yeah, today. it wasn't a good day to be anybody who crossed you. <laughs> anyone who crossed the bridge. I mean, li literally, just being within a three-block radius of Sokolov was uh, was you know a reason to die this day. To be to be fair, for uh, for a lot of those for a lot of those civilians being in those cages, that's what's going to happen anyway. So yeah, they were being rounded up for Sokolov's experiments. So that's not that's not a good end by any. That's G R O S S E. It's gross hopefully they'll me. hopefully they'll have a better one uh, <laughs> when uh, when Cool Guy does this next time on the Low Chaos Run. Uh, we'll see. I mean, I, I, intend, I intend to be a dick, just, you know, a non-lethal dick. <laughs> Whatever works. There's that one guy who's complaining he should probably get tranked, or choked, or thrown. But until then, I've been the last Robokai. I've been Cool Guy. And I've been Orv. And we'll see you all next time with the Low Chaos Room. <laughs>